At this Airbus factory in Toulouse, France, A320s roll out at about the rate of one every working day. Titanium rivets, lightweight and extremely tough, hold the fuselage together. 3,000 are used to join the separate sections. Another 3,000 can be found on each wing. Without them, the fuselage couldn't contain the pressurized air that's forced inside during flight. But even these rivets aren't foolproof. April the 28th, 1988. Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is traveling from Hilo Airport on the Big Island to Honolulu. With this island hop, Aloha 243 is making its ninth flight of the day, a normal schedule for the planes of Aloha. Protected within the jet, passengers give little thought to the fact that the cabin is filled with pressurized oxygen. It's constantly pushing against the fuselage, trying to escape into the surrounding atmosphere. In the cabin, the pressure is kept at a constant level, so passengers feel like they've never left the ground. But as a plane rises to its cruising altitude, the air pressure outside the cabin is dangerously low. The air moving through the cabin creates constant pressure on the jet's fuselage, keeping it inflated like a balloon. On this day in April 1988, passengers are about to learn what happens when that air suddenly escapes. I saw a brilliant flash of light and boom. Everything was going, was being sucked out of the plane. Aloha Airlines 243 has just suffered what experts call an explosive decompression. The air inside the plane that makes jet flight possible escapes in a sudden horrifying moment. 35 square meters of the fuselage are gone. Just imagine the scene up there. The top of the airplane broken off. You now have 300 mile an hour winds blowing into that cabin. That's three times hurricane force winds. Those people were dressed for Hawaii in the springtime, not minus 50 degree temperatures. Any period of time at 24,000 feet, and those people will die. What was that? We have to get down! Captain Bob Schornsteimer begins an emergency descent, dropping 20 meters a second. The stress on the damaged craft threatens to tear it apart. 